All right, so the test uh, machining on our uh, trial spare case went pretty good and uh, showed we had a whole lot better gear engagement. So what we're going to do is set up and officially machine our case. So here's our actual case. And what I'm going to do is the same deal. I took the cover off. And so now I'm just going to flip it over and mount it down to the table. Oh, there went my legs in. So I got a hole in the table right here. Works out really good. So I'm just going to mount this up and see if we can't machine this case. Let's get this bolted down here so we can keep it from moving. All right. So. For this one, we don't want all that aluminum getting in everything. And so I'm going to mask all this off and then uh, then we can machine it and it won't have all that aluminum down in everything. So. All right, there we go. Now we're all masked off. Hopefully those shavings will just stay right inside of there. First thing we got to do, we got to get that put down in there. So let's get our socket. And what we want to do is get that socket where it sits on it, and then we'll get us a hammer, and we're going to thump that socket, and drop that down in there a little bit. And there we go. So now, we got that sitting down in there, so see it's down inside of it. So now we can machine that far off. Once we machine some of that off, we'll thump it back down in there again. All right, so let's set up and see if we can machine this cover down. I'm going to plug right now. So what I'm going to do is bring this in. I'm not going all the way on the first pass. So right here where I'm set up, that's right about the height of my bearing. And I don't want to be that close yet. So I'm going to raise this up a little bit. I'm just going to take the first cut. There we go. So that'll be our first cut height. And what we want to do is get this and mark out how far out we got to go. So let's get our pin. So if we put a pin in right there, and we're going to mark out how far we need to cut on these edges. So those three in there get cut out just a little bit. All right, so now we know how far to go. Let's fire this thing up and see if we can route it out. I'm just gonna check my height one more time. We're looking good. So let's plug her in and see what we can do. Alright, so here we go for our first pass. So now, if we look down in there, you can see the surface. Looks pretty good, pretty smooth. So I don't see any issues there. And you can see we still got to come out here a ways. So that's where my dots are. So we're going to go on down a little further. So now what we want to do is make sure this thing's off. And that gets us the height that we were. So now let's get our feeler gauge. And we're going to come down 10,000. 
in here. So in order to come down ten thousandths, what we want to do is put our step down right there. So that's going to give us a little bit. And then we take our router and we push it down that far. Now we're down on that catch again. So see, we're tight. Can't get the feeler gauge in there. But theoretically, that'll take another 10 off. And we'll go again. And we just keep repeating around 10,000 at a time. Right, so after a few passes, you can see that we are getting real close to the surface of that bearing. So we're leathering her out. So everything looks still good, nice and smooth, taking short passes. So one more cut, I believe that's it. So we'll set up and do a real shallow cut. We'll be tight on the ten thousandths. And that should be all we do. So right now we are almost there. So I'm gonna move this one more time. This time I'm gonna be tight. I'm barely gonna cut that down. Check, make sure we're not going to hit our bearing. Yeah, we are ever so close. All right, here we go. All right. As you can see, our surface turned out really good. That's what a... Uh router can do for you if you just cut 10 15 thousandths at a time i get right back down there and you can see i took off it this surface used to be above the height of this so i took off that much which gives us enough room for those two little uh, shim plates without the rubber thing in between them and uh, sets you up real nice to have a little bit of extra engagement so everything looks good on that all right so now let's check with our shaft and our piece there just make sure that we cleared far enough out on these three legs just put a shaft in there and put that on there and yep we are clearing all the way around on all three so uh, now that's our new surface all right so let's unwrap our little present here and see what we got As you can see, just using the router makes a really nice surface. Just got to take your time, go easy. And there you end up with a nice, smooth, level surface. All right, so we'll get set up over here, put our case on, put this thing back together, and then we'll give it a last crank with all of the improvements we have to this motor and uh, see if it acts the same way as that trial case did. I gotta find that little pin, I don't know where my little pin went. All right, so we'll get set up over on the motor and uh, do this little procedure one more time. All right, so we are all set up for our final assembly on this motor. So we're gonna start with all these gears and plates and everything. So here's our little plates so we're adding those two and we're just going what used to be rubber to what used to be rubber there and then we'll add this plate so then we got all of those makes up for what we machined off and we'll put the gear in with the flat face this way slip all that in there there we go 
Now we got our short spring and we got our clip on our uh, Mendix gear clip. Let's put him in there. Get him to lock in for us. There we go. Everything looks good there. Now all we got to do is slip or cover them. We got our uh, cover on, the official cover. I just got to tip this thing down and just make sure we got some oil going to it. There we go. So now let's give it a try and see what it does. Sounding pretty good. Still got the ratchet ratch to it, but not disengaging. Let's try it on the high start. See if it still stays cranking. Yep, still cranking. Now let's get us a slow mo inside of there and uh, see what it's doing. have to see but uh, overall mechanically that's about the best we're going to do right now and uh, we'll start assembling this bike well all right well thanks for watching